Okay, this is a tutorial on making mandalas in Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator CS6. You can do this in CS4 though, that's where I learned it. All right, we're gonna start by setting a ruler up. And we're just gonna bring down a couple of lines to find the center point of the page. It doesn't have to be exact but just a general idea. And then we're gonna make some shapes to make a little mandala with. Start with a square, and I usually take the shapes and develop them off of the page to the side. You could also make these different layers if you wanted. Um, just for simplicity, I'm going to not make them layers. I'm just gonna make it one layer. Okay, so little star. And a little polygon. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is select an object, click on a rotate tool, and then hold with one finger the Alt down on your keyboard. And then with the other finger on your pad, select the center point, keeping Alt held down, and then click, and this box comes up you're going to put 360 degrees, the circumference of the circle, divided by however many times you want this object to rotate. But first of all, I'm going to cancel that. We're going to place the object on the page. All right, so place it anywhere. It's going to rotate around this point. So place it wherever you want. Keep it selected. Go to the Rotate tool, Alt with one finger, click, get this rotation box back to square one here. 360 divided by, let's say, 9. You're going to click Copy, and then you're going to click, um, well, you're going to hold down Command D, and keep hitting D while Command is, is held down, and you get it to go all the way around. All right, so go back to your select button and select all of them and make them one object. You can do this if you want, you don't have to do this. It's something that I like to do to keep, um, to keep it organized. You also might want to, um, as it's selected, press down Alt and you can keep a copy of this shape for further use or maybe for immediate use. If I hold down shift and make it smaller, I can bring it back and add it. All right, so go through the process again, putting the image onto the page. Bring it back up if you want here. Click the Rotate tool, hold down Alt, press, oops, yeah, there you go, 360 divided by, let's do a bunch of them, so let's say 22. Okay. Oops, you know what I did? I click, clicked OK instead of copy, and therefore it just moved it a little bit, which I don't really want to do. So let's go through this one more time. So click Rotate Tool, Alt, Center Box. See what I had done was I clicked OK, and that didn't give me the copy. So go back up in the box here, 360 slash 22. 
copy. And then again, Command D, 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 all the way around. <clears throat> and there you have it. So making a mandala is quite a tedious process. It involves uh, a, this just rotation, center point object over and over and over. Um, but you can get do variations um, where you can subtract and add. Like, for example, you could select every other one of these and take out if you thought it was too crowded. Or you could select this whole object and move it away. Or bring it back, whatever. But um, play around with it. It's a super easy tool. It just involves the rotation and that's it.